good morning guys god bless you happy wednesday guys happy wednesday i hope you guys are having a great morning well it is uh finally work time for me so we are actually out here in uh plano and i'm working on one of i think it's one of the most uh toughest i guess for me is one of the most toughest uh upholsteries to clean which is the corollas uh so if you've ever worked on corollas you know exactly what i'm talking about they are notorious for getting stained they're stubborn when they start drying so hopefully today's video will kind of help you on how to attack these kinds of seats but first let me show you how they look all right so there's a lot of uh staining on the seats obviously uh hopefully the camera can catch a little bit of how they look they are pretty heavily soiled um so that is what we're going to be working on today. The, the passenger side definitely needs some uh, love. So overall, I mean, they don't look too bad, but they get really bad. Um, and no matter if they're clean or dry, these seats will always give you a hard time. So that is what the video is about. Right now, I'm going to turn all my equipment on. I'm going to give it about 15 minutes for everything to fully uh, heat up everything get ready uh, get my products ready and we're gonna attack this car all right so stay tuned and we'll be right back before i start my equipment guys today we're gonna be using flex citrus this has been a game changer in my business i tend to use this one mostly when i'm working with heavily soiled vehicles like this corolla i'm using the merrillix 2000 filled up to the 2000 milliliter line uh, it is boiling water literally with one scoop of flex citrus and for my extractor guys i'm going to be using the flex ice this is the uh, extraction rinse so this is going to help you uh, make sure that the uh, fibers don't uh, lift anything back and it, it's a really really amazing combination between these two all right and we're going to be using obviously a drill brush as always i will drill brush the seats first this is going to lift off all the fibers and get the seats ready for the extraction process and for the um, agitation we're going to be using a nice uh, white bristle brush which i'll be posting the links down below i may turn on my steamer to use it but i think most likely i'm going to be using my only the extractor some agitation extract and that's it so let's get to it let me turn on my equipment and we'll be back and we'll get to work on this Alrighty guys, so now that we have successfully vacuumed all the interior, we're gonna go ahead and spray the citrus while everything is mixing in the extractor. Uh, I tend to, obviously as you guys saw, I'm gonna agitate everything first with that drill brush and then I'm gonna spray the solution, let it sit for about a good 15 minutes and then we'll agitate and then we'll come back with the extraction so should be very fun I think there's always that perception of people say like don't oversaturate your upholstery um, honestly I tend to oversaturate uh, seats and everything because I, I want the solution to really get in there obviously with the extractor I have it is powerful to look to ultimately um, extract everything the temperature right now is around 46 degrees so sunny day it's nice and breezy so that's just gonna help me with the drying as well so 
Hit everything from your headrest to the seats, the sides of the seats. Everything really good. Let this product just do its job. All right. Now, I used to not believe in these products because, for one, I think this gallon's around like fifty dollars. So, you know, I was like, oh dang, like fifty dollars for this, for this little thing. Obviously, I have done multiple cars. Uh, I have done multiple cars with this gallon of of uh, flex so i can see the value uh i can see the value on this product definitely um it has been a great product you know what let me put everything in the back <clears throat> um so I, i'm a huge believer of this product as long as you do it correctly i feel like this product will deliver um since it's a little bit chilly, I always ask the customer to um, leave me the keys. This way, you know, I don't, I don't have one of those dryers that you plug or whatever. I never really think it's like needed because I'm able to successfully dry this car in the time that I'm here. So usually I won't even, I'll turn the vehicle on, leave the doors open at all times. Let that breeze, let the breeze do the work. So that's what I'm doing right now. So it's always good to really just make sure you saturate your interiors really well. And let the product just dwell into the fibers really nicely. And then obviously, we're gonna be using heat. We're gonna be using the heat, heating element from the extractor. So this baby will make sure and be clean. And this is all off of the, that first initial pumps I did. With just that, I'm able to do the whole car. And I could probably even do the carpet. But for this project, we're only doing the seats. So this thing is one of the reasons why I love uh, the Marilix is because of that is I tried an IK sprayer I wasn't too uh, like a fan of it I think these Marilix are on the luxury microfiber website you know I will say this they are I guess on the luxury side or the upscale these are around I think $40 for one and I mean, sometimes you can get a, uh, they, they have a sale and I mean, they'll probably drop it to like $35. So um, it just really depends on the time of the year, maybe. So it really depends on the time of the year. But these are really, really amazing pump sprayers. So I have no complaints whatsoever. I've had mine for man i think we're going on a year and a half with it maybe two i could be wrong i suck with dates so just i think i've had it for about a year and a half and it has been amazing no complaints you know as long as you clean them out periodically you know i'll usually run hot water in it and let that boiling water uh just rinse it all out you shouldn't really have any major problem so go check them out i'm not they're 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 really good so and then after i spray the solution you can see it's starting to work already so all right now i'm gonna drill brush it the next step would be drill brushing and we'll get to it. Alrighty guys, so 
it's now extraction time it's been about 15 minutes uh, since my equipment has been on the water in the extractor is now ready to go so first step I'll do I I actually prime this extractor prior so now I will just spray the solution all right and then I will agitate at a low setting again I literally have gloves and I forget to put them on as I work, but always use your glove, guys. Let me put them on because I know I'll be, somebody will say, put gloves on. So before, before I get dinged, let me put my gloves on. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, guys. I hope y'all are having a great day, so. Again, this vehicle is only the seat. This car is only the seat, so... Here we go. I usually tend to strike the material so that I can make sure I get all in the groove. So the first pass is usually wet with the extraction. The second pass I will start, I will do it just dry with a slow pass just to get all the gunk out. This seat already looks way better. These just these seats they just tend to have a freaking they're so annoying at times. And I'll come back and wipe all the extra the extra water. So don't worry. So usually I'll do the first pad it's gonna be wet with the hot water on. This will melt all the grime. And obviously with the hot water, it helps it. You know, it really helps having a heated extractor. But if you don't guys, what happens if you don't have an, an, a heater in your extractor, get a steamer. Spray your solution, steam the seat, and then extract. Very simple, you know. We don't need to start with the best stuff. We just, we just need to start with something. And slowly, you will save up. And then you'll get everything you want. All right, so this seed I already extracted. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to dry it with a towel and we'll keep going.
using the towel method helps a lot because it, it gets the, the, the fibers going drying and removes some of the moist or I guess you know whatever from the extraction all right I'll move the seat forward and I always tend to start on the driver's side because this is where the customer gets on so I always start on the driver's side if you're working with cross now we go to the side of the seat Let's move to the back. That moment when you guys are working concentrated and your worst nightmare arrives. The blowers. Man. If, if you've never encountered this issue, <laughs> you're gonna hate it. I remember the first time I was uh, detailing a car and I guess they had come and did the lawn already and then the blowers came and literally all the grass got blown into the car that I had just finished detail. Ever since then, I dislike landscaping, landscaping companies when I'm working. <laughs> of course, you know, you can't really uh, get mad. They have a schedule to attend to. They have a process they need to get to. So, I mean, we're both in the same boat, right? So, but shout out to all the landscapers out there that are working hard. Uh, but this vehicle is done. Alrighty guys, so the vehicle is finally done. I'm now letting the interior, well the seats, start drying. And so far, everything is looking very good. I don't see anything coming back. Obviously, I love working in the sun for this reason. As the sun starts to dry this upholstery and the fibers and the edges, I start seeing if there's any orange uh, any any coloring coming down the edges if there is those are the areas I'm gonna hit uh, But overall this vehicle Looks way better. So I can't wait to show you guys the finished product But I wanted to show you or at least give you guys a quick tip as you guys know. I have the mighty uh, 1000 LX 200. This is the big one. I have a 25 foot um, 25 foot hose guys and this one came uh, with the extractor itself all right this is one of the reasons i love this extractor for one i love the suction it provides i think i get 180 inches of lift of water lift i, I could be wrong though but uh quick tip if you guys do have whether it could be vacuuming whether it could be the extracting process quick tip i you will never see me in any of the videos do this and i hope the camera catches it but i see many guys when they're extracting they'll pass this hose to the other side and they'll start extracting i tend to always everything keep it outside the vehicle i don't want this 
black holes i don't want any part really touching the fibers after i clean it so that's one benefit of having a long hose is you can take it all the way around the hose will never touch the fibers will never touch the upholstery and many times depending where you are this is dirty and then you go and start rubbing you know you start setting this hose through this side you know and you have the hose going through these these seats and you start getting it dirty and then what happens then you realize it's dirty now you have to backtrack and clean it all up so just a quick tip you know uh, I, I'm nobody to tell you how you all do to do your business or how to do you know your job but just you know if, if you've never really done that maybe um, upgrade your hose to something longer if not just pick your um, pick your extractor take it all the way around buy a longer hose whatever the case may be this way the hose will never be inside rubbing your um, clean area so anyways let's finish this car and let's get going alrighty guys so we're about 30 minutes into the drying process I'm gonna flip this camera around and kind of show you how the seats look all right you will see some white residue obviously that I'm gonna clean it out right now um, as it's drying but wanted to show you guys how it turned out how it looks and it definitely looks much better so let me flip this camera around all right so obviously you can still see it drying there's some little wet spots right here everything is still drying right there but overall this these seats look black guys these as you guys saw on the video everything is starting to dry out really nice right here in this little edge it's very common for many of these corollas to have that build up as it's drying everything spurs i guess it spurs out so i will hit those with uh my pump sprayer again let it sit there and then i'll wipe it off and it should be good so but overall guys this thing looks really good even the customer came out and looked already and she was like oh my god they look new but i mean from how they look guys you guys saw that here there was a big black stain all right here that is drying off really nice and the front passenger guys it's looking really good but overall guys this vehicle definitely um met the customer's expectations as i told her you know when when we talked over the phone you know i told her hey just know that the there the could be some stains that can come back after i clean it it's very normal for these cars especially if you don't really maintain your seat there's so much building build up down into the foams and as it dries after you clean them the soils just lift everything back so it's very common if you have a Toyota vehicle or if you get a customer that has a Toyota, just let them know the expectations. Toyota, if you guys see this video, I hope y'all do better work on the foams that y'all use because they're a headache at times, but I guess it's what we do. <laughs> All right, well, let me go ahead and just continue doing minor work on this vehicle. Once I finish it, I'll bring you guys with the final product and we'll go. To the next appointment alrighty guys so here he is the finished product guys as you guys can see the seats definitely got their color back they're still in the drying stage but I don't see any type of buildup coming back so let me show you guys the rear and we'll, uh, we'll pretty much finalize this video alrighty guys so this is pretty much how the rear looks you will see there is a towel right on the edge guys the reason uh, I have this towel right there. If you guys see this towel, there's a little bit of uh, reddish or a little bit of the buildup on the towel, all right? Uh, that's just because the foam is starting to release a lot of that buildup, all right? I love these towels for that reason. They're wide. I'm able to, you know, tighten them up real good and put them in those areas where that buildup is coming out and it literally grabs everything. Uh, I sprayed some Flex Citrus on there. I sprayed it and then i put the towel right in there so that all that buildup can come back as you guys can see all the edges are now starting to dry off really nicely so i'm very happy with the way this vehicle turned out so i should be returning this vehicle to the customer in the next probably 30 minutes overall guys again it's, this process should usually take about one hour or less i would say if it's just seats all right um, obviously these maybe 
may take you a little bit especially if you're learning a little bit on how to perfect your craft on the interiors take your time guys you know it's not a rush charge accordingly you know somebody may ask on here what did i charge for just these seats all right so this package right here was 120 dollars just the seats guys um obviously all my packages uh start at 200 and they go up depending on the condition but if we're just needing just seats um yeah i usually start at 80 dollars just the seats depending on the condition that the seats are in my price goes up obviously these seats uh for one they're very uh, they're 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 very difficult to work with um and if you work with corollas or toyota Pro, uh, vehicles you know exactly what i'm talking about uh and secondly it was very soiled heavily soiled on the seats so that's why uh i reflect my cost at 120 dollars just the seats took me about an hour or less to get done um so you know it's a very quick process if you know how to do it if you have the right products again guys today what we use was the flex uh, citrus pre-spray and the flex ice on the extractor as the extractor solution it definitely helps with neutralizing all the uh, uh, neutralizing the products um, so that's the reason i love flex ice is because you can put it in you know some people say don't put it in your extractor i haven't seen any changes on the lines or anything like that i, I mean i clean it regularly so it does very well if you don't want to put it into your extractor you can literally just use water into your extractor use a pump sprayer uh, on your you know like the Marilex that i use and then you can put your flex ice in there and you know spray it on the upholstery um, but i mean i haven't had no issues that's the reason why i use the flex ice so again uh, i hope you guys have a blessed uh, wednesday guys this was a very quick uh, video this was a very quick project just the seats alone uh, it really didn't take a lot of time but uh, i hope you guys have a great day god bless y'all and we'll see you guys in the next video let's get to the next appointment